If you ever had to edit a PDF, I'm sure you came across the same problem I have, which is basically you have a PDF and you need to add text or modify the text. So you go to edit PDF and you click on a text box and start typing additional text that you need to, like in my case, permanent address. And I can see right away that this font is Minion Pro. It's not, it doesn't look the same as the font used everywhere else in the PDF. When I click on the text from the PDF, it says Roboto right there, but my text is typing as Minion Pro. So I select the text and go to format and type Roboto and try to find the font because I saw it being used, but it's not there. I have Roboto Mono, Slab, so I have different types of Roboto, but not the plain one. Okay, so that doesn't work. I try to go around this problem by selecting this text box, doing Command C, Command V, repositioning it, and then maybe start typing over the text, thinking maybe this will work. But I can see right away, this is not using plain Roboto, so it's not working either. If I try add text and see if that will work, it's still not working. So this font is not being the same as the font from the PDF. So there are a couple of things you can do. You want to go find the font that you need. So the font that I need is Roboto and I have it right here. Now I can go to Google Fonts and find it or somewhere else and click download family. When you download a family for the font, basically you're downloading different styles. So it's not just one style, maybe it's thin, italic, bold, and so what have you. So you need all of them because you might have text in different styles of the same font. The font location for the Mac is in your font book. Once you download this family, you just unzip it and click on it to install it. And this will be installed in your font book. So let me see if my Roboto was installed. And I can see that it's there, but it's not dark like the other fonts. So it's not activated. So if it looks grayed out, kind of faint color, that means it's not activated. It's installed, but not activated. If I select this, and right click and click activate, it should activate the font. Now, if you are a PC user, the way to add font is similar. You download the family, you unzip it, then you can right click on it, click install. All the fonts for PCs are in control panel, appearance and personalization and fonts. So it's the same kind of process. You wanna check if your font is there. Now, if I go to my file now and try to edit, Let's see if this will work. And I'm going to type in my address right now. And it's still typing in different fonts. So I'm going to select it and type Roboto. And it's still not there. Sometimes you have to actually close out and quit the application and restart again. So I'm going to open the file one more time. I double click and go to it. And now let's see to if we can edit and find our font. I'm going to click add text, position where I want and start typing and select the text. And it looks like it's the same. Sometimes it might show up in a different style, but I can just double check to make sure that all the other characteristics like the size, bold or not bold, italic, spacing, line spacing and character spacing is the same because sometimes it might be a little bit different. So I can see that it's works perfectly and I can also do it change that if I go to the text box and it does type in the same font so this is the way to basically fix it if the font in your PDF it's not being found and you can't use it so you can edit activate it and then you can edit text or modify the text in your PDF thanks so much for watching